Hey everyone, it is Fitz with The Daily Delivery. I hope you are doing well. I'm doing great as we continue to follow Kansas State's search for a new basketball coach. Athletics Director Gene Taylor is in the early stages of that search for the Wildcats right now. And at Go Powercat earlier this week, we put up 2.0 of our hot board. And in a few days, maybe just a day, we'll have version 3.0. As we really begin to focus in on the guys that appears that Gene Taylor is focusing in on as Kansas State's new head coach. And the list is being narrowed. And later in the week, I will also start doing some daily deliveries on specific candidates and why K-State should and maybe don't want to hire each one of those gentlemen, as it's a really impressive list. Which brings me to today's topic, and that's Gene Taylor and why K-State fans need to just calm the you-know-what down. And I know everyone gets really stressed with coaching searches. I do. It's a very interesting and passionate part of any fan base. You really want to know what's going on. You got to know who the next person's going to be. And boy, that was so, so obvious during Kansas State search for a replacement with, for Bill Snyder on the football side. And of course people were stressed. The man was a legend. And Gene Taylor ended up picking a good friend, his former football coach at North Dakota State, Chris Kleiman. And for that, he paid a price. A lot of fans just thought he was, you know, helping out his buddy. And that isn't at all what he did with that choice. He really did weigh a number of candidates and decided not only was Chris Kleiman the best coach for the job, but maybe the candidate that would stay at Kansas State the longest and call it his home. And that's always hard to say. I think he got that one right. In fact, judging from the other candidates who were high on the board, it appears Chris Kleiman so far is the most successful. And certainly in his class that came in to the Big 12 that year, he's done very well. But my faith in Gene Taylor runs deeper than that. It runs back to just a year ago when the Big 12 looked like it was falling apart, less than a year ago. Everyone was worried that Oklahoma and Texas leaving for the SEC in the future would doom the conference to just fall apart and everyone would go their own ways. And meanwhile, Gene Taylor was the calming force. He never hesitated that the Big 12 would exist on into the future and thrive with new members. And you know what happened? Exactly that. The guy is pretty darn calm. He's a steady hand at the wheel. And I am fascinated to see who he picks. But judging from the candidates from whom he will be selecting for Kansas State's new basketball coach, it's a pretty good list. Be calm and be faithful that Gene Taylor will get this right.